find the cells B3 to E12. I'm going to drag across them so that they're selected at once. I'm then going to format the range as currency for the pound sign without any decimal places. So I'm going to come up to the top of the screen where my currency drop down list is and choose currency. And oh, I can see it's used the dollar currency in this case. In your case, it's most likely put the pound sign in for you. Um, but I don't want any decimal places. To remove decimal places, we can use this button here to decrease. If I press it twice, there are now no decimal places. There's still commas, which are used to separate every thousand, but there's no 0 .00 anymore. Um, if you do have it in dollars or pounds and need to switch it around, uh, you need to come up to the drop down list again. This time choose more number formats. And then if, when you go to currency, you can choose what symbol you want to use. And from there, I can find the pound sign, which is an extremely long list. Oh, I think I saw it up there. English United Kingdom. Click OK. You can make sure you're using the right symbol.